hello so I just wanted to come on here I've been inspired and I wanted to share what's on my heart it's been such a beautiful day I've got my door open and it's so nice out um, but I'm just sitting here and kind of want to share something that's on my heart and I think it's a very important especially in relationships and I often talk about this um, in my domestic violence groups when I um, when I talk to different men who've been in the system for domestic violence, um, the state of Arizona is very strict. So everybody has their own story and their own situation that um, would probably surprise a lot of us regarding domestic violence. It's pretty, pretty strict. But anyway, I... Um, Recently, you know, I was talking to or was talking with clients in one of my groups um, about like childhood trauma and how it is important to cultivate a safe space for you and your partner to communicate. Um, it's very important, especially um, if there's childhood trauma there that hasn't been healed. Um, we react in the way whenever we feel threatened um, in order to protect ourselves, we act in a way that could be negative um, I still do this it's something I'm working on um, my particular way of reacting if you will is to shut down if I feel threatened or if I feel like I'm not in a safe environment to share what's on my heart I shut down um, some people get angry and lash out I used to do that um, <laughs> it's weird uh, I used to get angry and lash out um, in my first marriage a lot so you know I understand the, the different types of, of ways that people react to not feeling safe and um, uh, especially when it comes to communication or friction in, in the relationship um, now I just shut down I used to do that when I was really little um, because of past trauma because it was a way for me to protect myself it kind of put my guard up um, and that's the way that I'm triggered now is I just shut down and I'm sure many of you've heard the the fight or flight response well there's also the freeze response and that's what that is we that's the way we we protect ourselves. Um, so regarding relationships uh, we go into one of those um, different reactions um, when we feel like there's friction or we feel that we're not safe and what happens is because of those reactions and protecting ourselves we kind of lose trust in the other person for something they may have said or um, we're just not feeling safe so before I mean, my ultimately what this is about is the ways that we can get through that or get past that would be to cultivate an emotional connection or a safe space with your partner before you talk about things that are on your mind. Um, and I've, I've experienced that. I've tried that um, a few times with my boyfriend is we, you know, this is something we're still working on, but... Um, is try to make that emotional connection and then start talking about stuff that's going on or something that might be bothering you um, versus reacting and taking defense against whatever's going on or whatever's bothering you because all in all this person who loves you is not your enemy and if they truly love you then they're going to create that safe space they're going to make it safe for you to open up or for you to share what's on your mind without reacting and taking defense um, 
so. So cultivate an emotional connection. Assure them that it's not them, that they're not the reason why, um, or they're not, assure them that they're not doing anything wrong. Um, you know, touch one another, hold each other's hand, whatever it takes. Uh, just, if you learn to do that, what it does is it not only creates that safe space in the moment, it also builds the trust in the relationship. Knowing that you're not against each other, we're supposed to work together, not against each other. It's not a competition. We're not in each other's enemy. So if we re remember that, keep that in mind whenever it comes to communicating something, even if it's something bothering us in the relationship, <coughs> we should still be able to cultivate that safe space for one another. So anyway, um, thank you for listening. Have a good day.